Thank you for inviting us, Klima for Palestina here. Um, I'm still actually processing emotion from um, the last performance <laughs> and trying to gather myself, as I imagine uh, many of you. And also, um, so yeah, as already introduced, I'm here to represent Klima for Palestina. My name is Toni Noshin. Um, I've been active in the German climate justice movement, climate movement, um, around six years. Um, and also, we have a statement, but part of which was already read out as an intro. And I also learned we have 15 minutes, and we originally thought we have a few minutes. So I will um, still read our uh, the statement, the collective statement, and then maybe share some of the work that we have been doing, and also some of the challenges that we are facing um, inside uh, the German climate movement, um, and yeah, the work that we are trying to do um, to create, to strengthen the fight um, to support Palestinian liberation. So as shared, Klima for Palestina is a group of climate justice activists who see justice for Palestinians as inseparable from climate justice and environmental justice. The group, which formed in October 2023, recognizes that Germany's mainstream climate movement lacks inherent solidarity with Palestine, even though it is clear that there can be no climate justice on occupied land. While the genocide in Gaza is ongoing, the German state is violently repressing activists by calling them anti-Semitic. We see how the white German left and the white German climate movement has taken up this narrative. New gas projects of the coast of Gaza, ecocide of Palestinian land and natural ecosystems, water apartheid, destruction of farmland and major emissions from Israel missiles and explosions in Gaza all directly contribute to climate destruction. By ignoring this struggle, climate activists are ignoring a crucial element of the basic struggle against climate change and environmental devastation. Klima for Palestina activists joint, um, uh, Klima for Palestina activates joint and collective struggle by holding educational events for new and current climate activists, such as panel discussions and interventions at demonstrations, working with Palestinian solidarity groups and anti-arms groups to bring the fight for climate justice into their realm and create spaces for joint discussion and collaboration between groups. The group is made up of activists from around the world, um, hailing from different movements, but all passionate about collective struggle and intersectionality between two of the most pressing fights in the world right now. There can be no climate justice without all justice. Um, Um, you can find us, uh, we have an Instagram page called Klima for Palestina. So that's our official written statement. And quickly to share a bit that um, maybe many of you know there is an ongoing climate camp uh, um, in Grunheide targeting the Tesla factory. And yesterday there was a big action. <laughs> and we also saw thousands of activists crushing through uh, police barricades and taking over, occupying um, the factories. And this is also one of these um, old tactics of Ende Gelände that's been using, and that's the German climate movement has been using. So we also went to the camp uh, on Thursday and we gave workshop. And what we are seeing more and more that there is generally, and as, as many of you know, it's been talked again and again, um, that there is this even the people who are fighting for climate justice is not clearly seeing the connection, but at the same time we are seeing there's more and more interest to start talking about the topic. We organized a workshop, um, which was a bit pop-up workshop, and we were not sure how, what kind of repression we might face. And again, of course, it's the same space where many of um, them, like we call colleagues, comrades, we have been working together for years, but on Palestine issue we see sudden silence um, and that's also something that we are cutting through and we are seeing more and more people are coming mm -hmm. like waking up and wanting to engage um, so that's uh, one of the things where we are seeing progress and we are hoping mm -hmm. to keep continuing this fight we organized a webinar 
two weeks ago where we also invited um, several activists from Palestine. We are supporting the energy embargo movement that's happening at the moment, calling to cut uh, all the fossil fuels that's supporting Israel's um, this war machine, the genocide machine. So we are also um, supporting and standing up for uh, the uh, energy embargo campaign. And uh, for future, we are also trying to expand our network. We are trying to come up with narratives to enable people to start talking about and, and see through the dehumanizing narrative that's silencing people and really starting to realize what real climate justice means and find the voice, find the strength to start building the fight that we need to yeah, tackle the crisis that's facing us. Thank you. <laughs>